Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. We're back live with the German Polo Championship with the game where Engel and Volkers will be playing against Allianz Kundler for a spot in the final already. Cow Factory is waiting in the final after having beaten Getranke Lehmann in the previous game. Earlier today, also, Riller and Schnauck with six goals scored by Horacio Fernandez Llorente, defeat plus Quadrat, and he, uh, it's awaiting the final score of this game to know their luck. 30 degrees today to play polo. We're live with the German Polo Championship. Tomorrow we'll be streaming live also the finals and we're going to have a very special guest which I will be introducing after the lineups. On screen, the Empires also. And as we were saying, Engel and Volkers playing on white today, waiting for them to jump into the field and getting ready. And Allianz Kundler playing on a light blue jersey with uh, Clarissa Magraf playing as a number one on handicap zero, number two Svenja Holti, handicap zero, number three Tolly Ushoa, handicap five, and Manu. Loki Elizalde on a handicap six, a total of 11 goals for Allianz Kundler. So they will be receiving half a goal of advantage. On screen now, one of the white players. For Engel and Velkers, number one, Cesar Krasman, handicap four. Number two, Daniel Krasman, a handicap zero. Number three, Kaspar Krasman, handicap four. And playing as a back, one of the best players of this tournament so far, Henrik Dumrod. On a handicap for a total of 12 goals. And the umpires today will be Alex Roldan and Mr. Thomas Winter. And also, I want to take this opportunity to introduce who will be joining me today for the first two checkers, a very special guest, a very close friend, friend of mine, <laughs> and uh, someone who has been playing polo here in Germany for many years now. Marcelo Tuki Caivano, welcome to, well, I, I cannot welcome you to Germany, but thanks for joining us today on this special transmission. And how are you today, Tuki? We are very good. You are welcome to Berlin. Uh, it's the first time here, no? Yeah, my first ever time I, I to Polo. Yeah. I hope that we, we, we do everything well and you like it to come back and Polo Line can support the Polo in Germany because it's something... The, the, the German Polo need and, and it's a good opportunity to have you here. No? For sure, a lot of people in Intendente Alvear in La Pampa are listening very happily to you. So I, I, I know that you are very, very close to that town. So it's a, it's a good moment also for you to, to send them your regards if you want. Oh, this is very nice. Thank you so much. Eh? Yes, I miss so much my friends. We are in contact all the time. And I hope they can see this transmission and we are really, I, I really did in contact with everyone and I miss a lot my, my city, no? Yes. Well, we're, we're waiting for the game to kick off. And let me tell you something, uh, Tuki, I haven't seen you for, for, for a couple of years, maybe, or maybe in Argentina, but to have the chance to, to look at your son, at Gaspar, after all that had happened and watching him in such a happy way and riding and and playing football and speaking i know it's it's great for everybody so it's always great to visit you and 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 of course to 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 welcome you here as well oh it's, it's a very big present to have Caspar well he was starting now this year to to stick in ball and we are so proud no this is for us is you know what you what 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 was our situation and he started to alone no alone to ask him for horses he never stopped to ride but polo he started now and he's he's very enjoy now mm. and plus after yesterday's football match between Bayern Munich and Barcelona he must be very happy we tell everybody that Gaspar his son is a fan of Bayern Munich so you can imagine his joyfulness today right Yes, yes, he was so proud today in the morning. <laughs> and uh, we get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and directed to see again the goal and the score and, and he's, he can't believe. Yeah? And the game is on. So we remember everybody, if Engel and Velkers win today, they will qualify into this 
tournament final of the German Polo Championship where Car Factory is already qualified. And then on the other side, Allianz Kandler, they are trying to secure their place in the third place match. Of course, all the matches tomorrow will be streamed live on Poland TV. And now Tolio Sio are trying to set the first attack of the day for Allianz Kandler, one of the scorers of his this team, nice pass, looking for Loki Elisaldi into the red zone, a fortunate bump there, and Loki Elisaldi, he couldn't tap it in the end, and the ball goes wide to the left. Nice opportunity, nice combination between Tolio Ushua and Loki Elisaldi. The time is off, and for its half a goal advantage, we remember everybody, to Allianz Kundler due to the handicap. So Allianz Kundler, it's 11 goals. And Engel and Volkers, 12, this is why there's a half a goal advantage. And Tuki, I want to take this opportunity because I don't know if many people know, but Manuel Isalde, Loki Isalde is from your hometown also. It's from Alvear, right? Yes, yes, yes. They was coming for polo for Eduardo Egi. He start there with the father of him, with Eduardo Egi, playing polo. And, and you know, all the family of Isalde, they was... They are coming for our town, and yeah, they are very good, like uh, Fran, they playing polo very well for a long time. Mm. We always, we, I want to take also this opportunity to say hi to all the people from around the world who are following us, and of course all the news from polo around the world can be found on our social media, on Instagram, at Polo Line OK, on, or at, at Facebook, at Twitter, and of course we're live through our website, pololine.tv, through our YouTube channel, Online TV through our Facebook and also through globalpolo.com. So we say hi to all our friends from Global Polo as well. And of course, thanking to US Polo ASSN, one of the official polo brands, for supporting also the polo here in Germany and this competition in particular. And while we are waiting for, for the game to resume, Tuki, um, it is worth remember that this is a very special competition since it's maybe one of the most important here in Germany, one of the most important tournaments, the G German Polo Championship? Yes, this is have a long history because normally they, this play always in the Maifel. Mm. Uh, the this Olympic year is close, no? Yeah. Uh, and this is very important no? because they was playing the Olympian uh, here some many years ago and the last time was, I think, in the year 2000. They was playing and later they stopped and start like, uh, I think like uh, 2008 or something like this, it was started to play like here the 12th ball, the first weekend and the second weekend the Maifel, mm. semi-final and final. Nice. So I think now it's getting everything set for the game to resume. Four chuckers will be played, traditional rules. So the teams will change ends after each chucker and of course, the game will be resumed after each goal with a throw in by the umpires on midfield. And the game is on now. Henrik Thunrod. Long hit looking for Kaspar Krasiman attacking on the left hand side. There goes Kaspar Krasiman trying to take possession of that ball. Nice approach by the number three now. Covering the field is Manuel Elizalde. Nice backhand by the lucky Elizalde. And now Kas uh, Cesar Krasiman in control of the ball. Nice turning over the marking of Tolio Show and now Kaspar with the opportunity to score the first one in the afternoon. Nice defense there by Loki Elisalde. And now Daniel Crossman first Tolio Show. What a rider, what a horse rider. As his father, as his brothers, Tolio Show. There goes. And Henrik Dumrod ahead of him and the whistle by the umpires after the run by Tolio Joa and now Allianz Kundler, we have a chance through a penalty. Let's go through the line uh, th through the replay, sorry. <laughs> Tolio Joa there with the right of playing that ball. And maybe they will go into the 40 yards. Oh, let's see. It will be a, yeah, a penalty three from 40 yards to now. So a fair opportunity now for Allianz Kundler to score. But I want to ask you about Heinrich Domrod because I saw some very good polo by him this weekend. And he's four goals, and maybe he's one of the best uh, German players in this moment. Yes, I think so. I think he's one of the best, best, best player in the moment. 
uh, together with with the Krasemann and Malaiske. They are the new four goal because they was three goal every one last year, and now they are four. And I think they are the future of the next five or six year in Germany. They will be the strong team in some year. So penalty two from 30 yards finally in favor of Loki Elizalde who will be taking the responsibility scoring for Allianz Kandler and they are leading one and a half to zero in this beginning of the game. So four checkers will be played seven minutes plus 30 seconds each period. And now good advantage at the beginning. And the game is on. Now Loki Lizalde trying to win the ball out of the lineup. Followed closely by Kaspar Krasman. Cesar trying to win that ball and now Svenja. And coming from behind, Clarissa Magraf looking for Loki Elizalde. Long hit by the number four, looking for Tolly Ujo. A little bit open to the right hand side. Still Tolly with the ball, very well taken on the near side. One more tap by the number three. Still Tolly with the ball and the final tap by Tolly Ujo. And the ball goes wide to the right, but look, Tolio Shoa looks fine from here after hitting that post. There goes the replay. We are Toli. Oof. Fortunately, he's doing fine. Very athletic, Tolio Shoa. Now, Tuki, what's your what's your opinion about this game? Wh which team do you think have more chances to to take the win? Bueno, okay, the blue team, the light blue team was in until now. What I saw, they are every game they play better. They started in last Friday and and they improve and improve in every game, no. And I think now they are in the really good moment. The white team until now, uh, they cannot not really to play well no they 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 need to show today because this is the last chance to improve and mm. we are waiting for this no i think they can be very interesting game the light blue can try to quip the ball and let the with long hit and pass it between manu and and carlos and and the white team need to play fast because they are they are very good some people Joining us from around the world, many people from Argentina saying hi to Tuki. We're joined here by Tuki Caivano today. Who is, how many years, well, after this penalty, I'm going to ask you about your, your life here in Germany, Tuki. So, Loki Elizalde with another 30 yard penalty with the chance to widen the gap. And Loki Elizalde scoring for Allianz Kondler. And now they're leading two and a half to zero in the very first chakra of this game. Still a lot of time to go. Engel and Volkers need to win to secure a spot in the main final tomorrow, which will be streamed live on Poland TV. But Loki Elizalde with two 30 yards penalty are giving is giving the advantage to his team. So to give how many years now between Germany and Argentina? Uh, you've been coming here for how long? Mm, I come in here in the year 2001. I think we are 20 years here <laughs> uh, playing, and, and the first time when I came in, Sebi Merlo was sent me him, sent me here nice. with Klaus Buchmann, uh, was a German guy here, was playing a lot of years, and I, in the first moment I say, why Germany, no? But but I arrived here and I like a lot, and I I hope like this is my second home. And plus, you have your your home very close to this club, right? Yes, yes, I live close from here, in the middle of the in the middle of the way, the, the city to to this club. And now, Loki Elizalde, nice recovery by the number four, trying to take the danger away, playing to the boards. Long hit by Loki Elizalde. Here, Tolio Ulloa, Carlos Maria Ulloa, in possession of the ball, looking for Loki Elizalde, and now Kaspar Krasman. Nice move by the number three. So Kaspar Krasman, four goals. Of handicap and the ball goes over the boards, so Allianz Kundler will be resuming with this free knocking, this new rule, which was first stated in Argentina in 2017, and then after that, 
was taken to all around the wall and now Loki Ellis had a little bit open to the right hand side, still Loki with the ball, trying to hit it under the neck and the ball goes wide to the right. And the time is off, I think they're gonna take this time to, to change horses. Still Engel and Volgers trying to find their best way. His coach, Martin Chochan Garraham, watching from Pilar in Argentina. Very nervous, I imagine him. So, Tuki, I, I guess that you know this, uh, for example, the Craftsmans, uh, you know them since they were born, practically, or not? Or, yes, or, yes. or as soon as, as they got involved with polo, you knew, you knew them? Yes, imagine, no? Like uh, 10 years ago, <laughs> uh, we are playing a game, like a six goal. All, all the, the, this team, they put us a six goal, no? Yes. And you need to play again now, it's no chance, no? Now they are going really really playing well with this polo, no? But you're still playing, right? Even though you're not like uh, bumping into the other players as as you were some years ago, you're still playing polo, right? You no, we, this season, we I play every weekend somewhere. This season we start here 10 of June and we never stop. I was, we was fully booking all the season and always I try to play more six goal, eight goal, <laughs> four goal. Nice. Nice. So the players are getting back in the field for the resumption of the game. It's two and a half to zero for Allianz Candler into the second half of the first chucker. So every in every single chucker, they will be stopping halfway through for changing horses. 30 degrees, amazing weather to play polo. We're located 45 minutes away from Berlin at this club. And now, Heinrich Dumrod, I hope I'm pronouncing his name well, to resume the game from the back, Dumrod. Very well stolen there by Tolio Shoa and the umpires blow their whistle. And it will be a new penalty in favor of Allianz Kondler. It looks from here. Good pressure so far by the Blue Jersey team in this beginning of the game. There we see the replay. Very focused Tolio Shoa on that resumption but by Damrod. And now a new opportunity. Let's see which mark are they going to. Maybe 60. Yeah, they are placing the ball on the 60 yard line. So Manuel Elizalde, who already scored twice from 30 yards, will have its first 60 yard penalty to widen the gap. They're leading two and a half to zero. So already Cow Factory awaiting in the final. Good Laisha Prak, Lucas Drenka. Cristóbal Durrie and Santiago Marambio. And now on screen, Manuel Elizalde. Loki Elizalde. Who always plays with a particular green helmet. And Loki Elizalde with a strong hit stopped in the way by Cesar Crassman and the ball goes wide to the left, I don't know if it hits the horse or it hits the mallet. No, it hits the horse, so Damrod resuming from the back line. And Engel and Volkers still losing by two and a half. Damrod. From the back, long hit looking for Kaspar Grassman. And the tap there by Tolio Ushua. 
and the whistle by the umpires. Now it's a foul called against Tolu Shoa. Let's go through the replay. It's going to be a midfield penalty. Some doubts there, Duki, but finally it's going to be a 5B in favor of England. No, oops. No, no, they're going even further, I think. Let's see. No, no they, 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 they place it finally for a 5B. Still good pressure by the Blue Jersey team, huh? Tuki? Yeah, the white team, they kind of find the way until now. They, I've seen the, the, they make a, a lot of pressure of the, the blue, the light blue team. They make a lot of pressure. They don't let to play. But the white can do it, and we see. Let's see what's happen, what happens. Some time off. I think there's a horseshoe around there that they need to take out. So today, in the first game of the day, Riller and Schnauk beat Plus Quadrat, nine goals to five. So if Allianz Kundler win today, Riller and Schnauk will be playing the main final tomorrow against Car Factory, who beat Getranke Lehmann. Long hit by Damrod, looking for Cesar Krasman. A bit open to the right hand side. Now Tolucho in possession of the ball. Nice move by the number three, still Lucioa with the ball. One more tap by the guy from Lincoln, which is around 500 kilometers away from Buenos Aires, if I'm not wrong. Nice backhand there, and now Manuel Elizalde. Lucky Elizalde, very well contested there by Cesar Krasman. Nice move by the number one, and now Tolucioa, again, the winner of the Taipo Open this year in Thailand. Long hit looking for Loki Elisal. The first that will be Henrik Damrod. Nice backhander looking for Kaspar Krasman. Nice contest there against Tolu Shoa. And the time is off. An unfortunate fell by Damrod. Fortunately, he's doing fine. And so is his horse. So, Tuki, any plans to, if if the pandemic allows it, any plans to go to Argentina this year? Or what are your plans regarding that? I don't know in the moment. Nobody <laughs> can make any plan. Eh? Yeah. This is the, this is a nice question. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot answer this. Eh? Normally, we go back always in, in the end of October to Argentina and do something in Buenos Aires, uh, Pilar and late in the summer to La Pampa, but uh, this is a special year. No? Yeah, definitely. When was the last time you were there? You were there last last year? No, no, I, we, I was there in this year, oh, really? and I arrived here 6th of February. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. And, but I arrived 6th of February with the family, to the kids start here the school and this. But the plan was to make uh, the season in March again, Oh, the autumn but it was, was close. Okay. Was close. The, the, I, can't, I was the not allowed there. to fly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Forty seconds yet to be played in this first checker. Allianz Kondler leading two goals and a half to zero. Fortunately, both Domrod and uh, his horse are doing well. And now some fair play by the Engel and Bolgers players leaving the ball for the Allianz Candler once. And now Domrod, nice backhand by the number four, playing to the boards now. Kaspar Krasman, the first on that ball, challenged there by Tolu Shoa. First Tolu Shoa, nice move by the number three. Nice move by the Argentinian, still Tolu with the ball. Tolu Shoa, very close to him is Manuel Elizalde. I don't know if he's going to leave the ball for him now. Tolu Shoa hitting that goal from there. And the ball goes wide to the left. And that will be it for the first chucker here after the final bell of the first period of the game. Allianz Kundler is leading 
two goals and a half to zero. We'll be back shortly with the second period of this game. back live here for the German Polo Championship. It's two and a half to zero for Allianz Kandler after the first checker, two goals scored by 30 yards penalties by Loki Elizalde. And plus half goal due to a handicap advantage. We're here joined by the great Tuki Caivano. Tuki, thank you again for joining us today and what do you think after what we just saw on the first checker about the chances of the white jersey team into this second period? Until now, they are, the blue team, they are playing better. I think they have more chance. But the, the white team, team have a lot to play, no? because they win today and they can jump to the final. I'm sure they, they, they have a Bajugar in the point and they are in the corner to teach in the white team and they make some tactics and we see how how they can play better now or not or what do you do it so for, sorry for my mistake before i said that i thought that lincoln was 500 kilometers away from buenos aires it's actually 300 so thanks for the helps and now damrod long hit by the number four looking for daniel Krasman, who is playing as an attacker on this play, but first there will be Loki Elizalde. Nice move by the number four. Still Loki Elizalde. Nice turning by the number four. Still Loki Elizalde driving. His team into this attack. Long hit by Loki Elizalde. Looking for Clarissa Magrav, who is open to the right hand side, but first there will be a dumb road. Now challenged closely by Tolly Ushua. Kaspar Krasman trying to win that ball. Now Svenja and now Kaspar. Very well taken by the number three today, Kaspar. Long hit, nice move by Kaspar Krasman. Nice contest there between him and Loki Elisale. Nice move by the number four, but still Kaspar Krasman in position of the ball. Tolly coming from behind and now Cesar Krasman hitting that goal. And he goes wide to the right. Good opportunity now in favor of Engel and Velkers. They need to score.
What can you tell me about Thomas Winterhorse, Tuki? Tom he's, he's very special, or, or, or what? Thomas Winter. No. And his horse. Ah, right? yeah, of course. This is a pinto horse, <laughs> typical criollo for Argentina. And oh, now is a good chance for the white team. And Damrod with a fair chance to score there on the final tap by Damrod. Sorry for interrupting you, Tuki, but Damrod scores the first one for his team today. And now his Allianz Condler leading two and a half to one. Very well taken there on the near side by Damrod. Nice approach into the red zone on the final tap by the number four. Two score. The first goal for England and Volkers today. And now, as we were saying, traditional rules are throwing after each goal. And now Tolio show a nice run by Tolio show a long hit by the number three. Nice approach looking for Clarissa Magraf, who is in a fair position to score. She couldn't tap it properly at the end. And the final tap by Told you sure about the ball went out of bounds and England Vargas will be resuming from the back line. And now Tolly. Nice pressure by the number three. So Tolu sure with the position of the ball. He couldn't tap it properly at the end. And now Kaspar Grassman trying to win it. And now Clarissa Magraf. Nice move by the number one. And now Tolu sure from a right hand side. He hit a goal and the ball went wide. Nice opportunity. Again for Allianz Candler. Very good pressure in attack. And now Damrod to resume from the back line. Both teams, before this game, they won two and they lost two as well. So a similar record so far. And now Cesar Grassman looking back for Damrod. But first there will be Tolu Shua, who's very active in this beginning of the second checker. Nice move by the number three. Nice run by Tolu Shua. Nice approach by the number three, trying to get into the 60-yard area. Nice stop by Tolu Shua into the red zone. What a goal by Tolu Shua if he makes the final tap. And Tolu Shua scores maybe the best goal so far in this match and one of the best of the day. Carlo Maria Ulloa, Tolu Ulloa scoring for Allianz Candler. They're leading three and a half to one. Very quickly, good pressure by Tolu Ulloa, Tuki. And they are back leading by two goals and a half. And this, that is something that is going on in this competition. In every chucker, they stop at halfway through the chucker to change horses, which I think is good for the horses. Yes, in this moment with this weather, no, amazing. They, we have like a 30 degrees every day here in Berlin. Uh, you need to wait, no. Everybody wait. Everybody is polite for the horses and and for. I think it's nice too for the for the game, no. And thank you for the asado that they took. Out of the blue, we ended up having an asado at your place. So thank you. On behalf of the Polo Line team as well. Ah, you are welcome, man. <laughs> So everything is getting set for the resumption of this second chakra. So a total of four will be played. And tomorrow we'll be live streaming the whole finals match day from 12.30 p.m. Free of charge, open worldwide from any device without geographical restrictions. And now Tolu Shoa trying to win the ball out of the lineup. Nice move by the number three, looking for Manuel Elizalde. Good challenge there against Daniel Grassman. And now Cesar Grassman asking for the right of playing that ball, but it ended up being in possession of Kaspar. So Kaspar Grassman now on screen. Nice move by the number three. He scored some really good goals all along this tournament. Damrod looking back for Daniel Krasman. First there is 
Clarissa Margraf, very well taken by Clarissa, looking for Manuel Elizalde. Nice move by the number four, still Elizalde with the ball. Lucky Elizalde. Long hit by the number four, looking for Clarissa, but first on the ball will be Cesar Grassman, now Damrod. Finally, Kaspar in possession of the ball. Nice move by the number three. Very well taken by Kaspar Krasman. Nice move, nice individual action by the number three. So there goes Kaspar Krasman. A little bit open to the left-hand side. Nice approach, trying to get into a proper area to find an angle to hit a goal. And the defense by Tolio Joa. Still the game is on. And now down road. Oh, what a steal by Loki Elizalde. And now a fair opportunity. Loki Elizalde starting to run across the field. Nice run by Loki Elizalde, chased by Daniel Krasman. Nice ride off by Loki Elizalde, leaving the possession of the ball to Tolu Shoa. Nice approach by the number three. There goes Tolu Shoa in a proper chance to score. And Tolu Shoa scored back to back goals for his team. And now Allianz Kandler is leading four and a half. 2-1, nice combination between Loki Elizalde stealing that ball and then riding off Daniel Krasman and leaving the field free for Tolio Ushua, who picked up the ball, made one approach and made the final tap to score back-to-back -back goals for his team. And now they are leading four and a half to one into the last seconds of this first half. And now Damrod with the ball out of the lineup. Nice move by the number four. Taking that backhander, looking for Daniel Grassman. And finally, taken by Svenja. Nice move by the number two. And there goes the first bell of the second checker. 30 more seconds to be played. Nice contest there between Svenja and Daniel Grassman. And finally, Kaspar Grassman. Nice backhander, looking for Cesar Grassman. But finally, who's taking possession of the ball is Henrik Damrod. Very well taken on the near side. Nice marking by Loki Elizalde and now Tolio Shua. Very few seconds yet to be played. Cesar Krasman trying to steal that ball. And now Kaspar Krasman, long hit. Nice approach by the number three. And there goes the final bell of this first half. Allianz Kundler is leading four and a half to one against Engel and Volkers will be back after some adverts and after some replays with the second half of this game here live. I am Mohamed Al Haftour. Thinking about polo in Dubai is paradise or oasis because you come to Dubai, it's a desert, and you see that how Dubai in the last 48 years, how they converted the desert into 
an oasis and having Al Habtur Polo Resort or the Polo Clubs in Dubai here in the middle of the desert. It's like you don't see this anywhere in Dubai. And we're back here live with the fifth match day of the German Polo Championship. And what a ride of there by Loki Elisalde against Daniel Grassmann, leaving all the field ahead for Toli Ushoa to score back-to-back -back goals for his team. Nice approach and the final tap by the number three, the guy from Lincoln in Argentina, brother to Hilario Ushoa. And now Allianz Kondler, wearing light blue, is leading four and a half to one against Engel and Velkers, wearing white. Everything is getting set for the resumption of the game. Two checkers have been played, so there are two more ahead. And of course, Tolu Shua from a long time horse-related family, because his father is one of the most famous horse trainers in the world, I hope. I say it properly, Polito Joa, and then his brothers, Hilario, a 10 goaler, Salva, another high goal player, Salva Ulloa, and his sister is married to Fran Elizalde. An amazing rider, amazing player, Toli, winner of the Taipolo Open this year in Thailand at Taipolo. And then also, his worth remember, the Crashman. They have a very beautiful place, which I haven't been fortunate to visit yet. There in Mallorca, Barralina, in Spain. And everything is getting set for the resumption of the game. As we were saying, two more chuckers yet to be played today. Car Factory already awaiting in the final. 
If Engel and Volkers win today, they will be facing Car Factory tomorrow in the main final. And if not, the rivals of Car Factory will be Riller and Schnauk. Earlier today, they beat Plus Quadrat. Nine goes to five. Riller Schnauk with Horacio Fernandez Llorente as their top scorer, Max Sinhoff, Max Bosch as well in the team, and Christopher Kirsch, and Car Factory already awaiting in the final with Kutlai Prag, Lucas Zdenka, Santiago Marambio, I want to take this opportunity to thank Tuki Caivano, who had to went back to duty after helping us in the first checkers. And the game is on. Loki Elizalde winning the ball out of the lineup. And now Tolio Shoa. Nice turning there by Engel and Velkers. And now Kaspar Grasman with a fair opportunity to score. Nice approach by the number three, trying to get into the danger area. And the hit by Kaspar Grasman. He goes wide to the right. Nice opportunity by the white jersey team. Nice pressure by them. They need to score. They're losing by three and a half. And now Loki Lizalde. Looking for Toli Ushoa playing to the right. Now Toli asking for the right to play that ball. There goes Toli Ushoa. Very good contest there against Henrik Damrod. Finally, Kaspar Krasman taking over that ball. Nice turning by the number three. And now Damrod. Very good move by the number four. Looking for Kaspar Krasman. He's going to take it probably on the offside. And now. Svenja trying to win that ball. And when Kaspar Grassmann was approaching the ball, the umpires blow their whistle. Let's go through the replay. Mm. So it's going to be a penalty from the spot. Finally, in favor of Engel and Volkers. Already on screen now. Damrod and Cesar Krasman. And finally, Henrik Damrod to take this penalty. And that's a strong hit by Damrod. It's good. It's going good. And finally, he went wide to the left. Strong hit by Damrod. And now Loki Elizalde to resume from the back line. After the ball went out of bounds. And now Tolio Joa. Leaving the ball for Loki Elizalde. Damrod covering the field. Nice backhander by the number four. Looking for Daniel Krasman. Finally, it's going to be Cesar Krasman trying to take the ball on the near side. Finally, good recovery. And now Kaspar Krasman coming from behind. Nice run by the number three. There goes Kaspar Krasman trying to set the attack for Engel and Volkers. Nice approach. A little bit open to the right. But still with a fair chance to score with that hit under the neck. And Kaspar Krasman couldn't hit it properly at the end. And the ball went wide to the right. Third consecutive opportunity for the white jersey team to score. They are making a good pressure. Now, Manuel Elizalde to resume from the back line. Looking for Tolio Joa, open to the right hand side. Tolio Joa, looking for Svenia. And now Clarissa Magraf, very well taken by Clarissa. There goes Clarissa Magraf, nice run by the number one. Still in a fair position to set the attack for her team. Now Daniel Grassman trying to take that backhander. And now Damrod, very active on this beginning of the second half. There goes Damrod already ahead of him is Kaspar Grassman. 
Dumbrod with the ball, leaving it for Cesar Crossman. Long hit by the number one. Still Cesar Crossman in possession of the ball. He couldn't tap it properly at the end, but still he's in possession of the ball. Nice action by Cesar Crossman. Very well taken on the near side. What a move by Cesar Crossman. And the final tap on the near side and that backhander, which he couldn't tap properly at the end. What a run by Cesar Crossman. And it went wide. And now the time is off with three minutes and 14 seconds yet to be played in this third chakra. Alliance Gandler is leading four and a half to one. On screen, Kaspar Krasman. He had a couple of very good opportunities to score. He couldn't tap it properly at the end. So still, Alliance Gandler by three and a half. in this chakra and we remember everybody that we will be, be back live tomorrow from 12.30 p.m. Germany time so 7.30 in Argentina 11.30 a.m. in Germany 6.30 a.m. USA Eastern time with the finals match day with all three matches the fifth place game the third place match and the main final which we already know that Car Factory is one of the teams who secure their spot and they are awaiting for their rivals and also stay tuned to our social media and to all our platforms because there are a lot of live streamings coming along in the upcoming weekends and in the upcoming weeks so stay tuned and of course with no geographical restrictions from any device you can reach our live streaming programs today earlier today also in England Scone defeat Monterosso and they qualify to the semi-finals of the Queen's Cup so the defending champions are still on in race to the title I think they will be facing part place but I'm not, I'm not sure so already in semi-finals are Park place and Taipolo and later today next generation winners of the Gold Cup will be facing Le Leon Great Oaks so and then the semi-finals will be taking place on Wednesday and the finals of the Queen's Cup next Sunday. But now here, Alien Scandler is leading four and a half to one against Engelan Valgers. Nice move by Tolu Joa. And now Kaspar Krasman. Clarissa Margraf coming from behind. Nice move by Clarissa. Nice tap by the number one. Nice run by Clarissa Margraf. Nice approach by the number one. Stick Clarissa with the ball into the red zone. What a move by Clarissa Margraf. What a goal scored by Clarissa Margraf. Very quickly into the second half of this third checker. She stole the ball behind the midfield line. She ran all across the field and scored for her team. And they are leading five and a half to one. Let's go through the replay. She took the ball way behind the midfield line. She ran all across the field. Got into the danger zone and scored. Her first one today, two goals by Loki Elizalde, two by Tolio Joe and one by Clarissa. What a run by Clarissa McGrath. And now Damrod, nice backhander. And Loki Elizalde very well taken. By the number four, there goes Manuel Elizalde. Nice approach by Loki Elizalde. He's going to hit it from there under the neck. What a hit by Loki Elizalde. And a third goal for Loki Elizalde today. Six and a half to one. Four consecutive goals for Allianz Kundler. Nice approach there by Manuel Elizalde. And the final hit that neck shot to found the net and now Allianz leading six and a half to one
Damron looking for Cesar Crossman, very well taken by the number one on the near side, challenged there by Loki Elizalde, nice backhander by the number four, and now Tolu Joa. Thinking about the next move. Long hit by Tolu Joa, looking for Svenia. Nice contest there against Daniel Crossman, finally. Damron, and now the backhander by Kasper Crossman, very well taken again by Tolu Joa, nice move by the number three. And now Loki Elizalde, who already scored in the previous play. There goes Loki Elizalde from a long distance. There goes a hit by Loki Elizalde. The flag woman says it's a goal. There are some doubts. Let's see what's the final call. And the umpires are going to midfield. So it's a goal to Alian Scandler and scored by Loki Elizalde. I think they're going to take some time to have some conversation about that play. The time is off. There goes a play by Loki Elizalde. Around 60 yards away, more or less, from the goal. Mm, difficult to say from here. The flag woman never hesitated. Now I think they are going to ask the third man. We remember everybody. Thomas Winter and Alex Roldan are the umpires. The, imp the mounted umpires today. So they are checking with the third man to see if it was a goal, some doubts. So Allianz Kandler is leading six and a half to one, awaiting the decision of that play by Loki Elizalde. It was difficult to say from our angle. So three goals by Loki Elizalde so far, two by Tolly Ushua, one by Clarissa Magrath. And for England Volkers, Henrik Damrod. With less than 30 seconds yet to be played into this third chucker, Allianz Kundler is securing a spot in the third place match tomorrow. So finally, the goal will not be awarded. And Engel and Volkers will be resuming from the back line. That's the final decision. So Henrik Dambrot is getting ready to resume the game. It's six and a half to one. And now Damrod, long hit looking for Kaspar Krasman, a bit open to the left-hand side. Now Kaspar Krasman trying to take that ball. And first there will be Loki Elizalde, Manuel Elizalde, top scorer today. Nice backhander by the number three looking for Svenja. But first on the ball is Henrik Damrod. Nice move by the number four. And now he's looking for Daniel Krasman. But first on that ball would be Tolu Shua. Nice backhander by the number three. Nice pass. Looking for Loki Elizalde, who's looking for a rematch after the previous play. Stopped in the way by Henrik Damron. Nice backhander by the number four. Now looking for Kaspar Krasman. Kaspar. Kaspar in possession of that ball. Wamota by the number three. And now Clarissa coming from behind. Finally, Tolu Shua. Nice backhander by the number three. And now Cesar Krasman. Tolu Shua. Nice up. Approached by Tolu Shua trying to get into the danger zone, and that will be the end of this third chucker. Allianz Kandler is leading six and a half to one into the last period of this game. We'll be back shortly after some adverts. <laughs>
se pase al pie este evento sea más rápido yo. I am Mohamed Al Habtour. Thinking about polo in Dubai is paradise or oasis because you come to Dubai, it's a desert, and you see that how Dubai in the last 48 years how they converted the desert into an oasis. And having Al Habtour Polo Resort or the polo clubs in Dubai here in the middle of the desert, it's like you don't see this anywhere in Dubai. What a steal there by Clarissa Margraf running all across the field to score one of the great goals today of this game. What a run by Clarissa Margraf, never losing control of that ball. Very nice approaches. And a new goal for Allianz Kandler. And now they're into the last chucker. They're leading six and a half to one. And since the previous, since the third chucker finished with a loose ball after the second bell, this is why they are resuming with this throwing. Very well taken now by Loki Elizalde out of the lineup. There goes Loki Elizalde. What a move by the number four, trying to get into the danger area. And now Clarissa and the whistle by the umpires. It will be in favor of England Valkers. I think they're going into a midfield penalty. Yeah, it's going to be a midfield penalty after watching the replay. I don't know what's the English for timbiarse, but I'm sure England Volkers, which are losing now by five and a half, may have received an order like that in order to have a chance to make, a ca make an amazing comeback to win this game. And now on screen, Henrik Damrod to take this midfield penalty. On screen, Damrod. And the long hit by Henrik Damrod, a little bit open to the left-hand side. Let's see who gets there first. Oh, nice by Hunter by Cesar Crossman. And then, now Daniel Crossman with the chance to score. And very quickly into this fourth chucker, Daniel Crossman, the man in charge, scores for Engel and Volkers. And now it's six and a half to two. Nice combination there, nice backhander by Cesar Crossman to find his father, Daniel, and this goal. And now Damrod winning the ball out of the lineup, out of the lineup, sorry, and leaving it for Cesar Grassman. Nice move by the number one, nice action by Cesar Grassman. Very well marked there by Tolu Shua. And when Cesar Grassman was taking that ball, a whistle by the umpires, and I think it will be a spot penalty in favor of Allianz Gundler. So it's a penalty from the spot. Take a we take a look again at that move.
Loki Elizalde. Nice move by Loki Elizalde, still in possession of the ball. There goes the number four. Already three goals for him today. Nice move by Loki Elizalde trying to find an angle. He's going to hit it from there. It's a long hit by Loki Elizalde, but the ball goes out of bounds, wide to the right. And Enkel and Velkers to resume from the back line. And now Svenja in possession of the ball. Very well taken now by England Volkers. Nice contest there between Tolio Jo and Kaspar Krasman. First there it's Tolio Jo. Nice backhander on the offside by the Argentine. And now Cesar Krasman coming from behind. Nice move by Cesar Krasman. Challenge by Clarissa Margraf. Nice move by the number one. Still Cesar Krasman with the ball. Finally Clarissa. Nice move by Clarissa. Looking for Svenja. Now, Damrod, nice backhander. Finally, in position of the ball is Toli Ujoa. And now, nice run by Damrod. Good contest here against Clarissa Margraf into the danger zone. And Damrod, Henrik Damrod, to score for Engel and Volkers. His second one today, and now the players will get some fresh legs for the second half of this chucker, and it's six and a half to three. There goes the replay. Very nice run by Henrik Damrod. Good performance by this number four. And into the last around four minutes of the game, Allianz Kandler is leading six and a half to three. Engel and Volkers need to win today to secure a spot in the final against Car Factory. And if they not if they don't win, Car Factory will be playing against Riller and Schnauk tomorrow in the main final, but still three matches will be played tomorrow. All three of them will be streamed live on Polo Line TV from 12.30 p.m. So stay tuned. Later today, we'll be releasing the order of play for tomorrow. And the game is on. Cesar Grassman trying to win the ball out of that lineup. And when Clarissa was taking possession of that ball, it's a foul. And I think that there are some doubts. I think they're going to be awarding a penalty from the spot at the end. So on screen now, Damrod, Henrik Damrod. Still a lot of time to go. They managed to score very quickly. They're losing by three and a half. That half goal, it's always hard to face. And a big and a big regard. I want to take this opportunity to thank, of course, Moritz Kadeke and send a big regard to Francisco del Campo, who is also joining us, I think from Argentina. And now Damrod. Looking for Caspar Grassman, but what a pressure there by Loki Elizalde, Manuel Elizalde. Trying to turn there. Marked very closely by Kaspar Krasman. Still Loki Elizalde in position of the ball. A little bit open to the right hand side. Right hand side. And now Tolly Ushua trying to take the ball on the near side. Still Tolly with the ball. Let's see what 
Is it that he do? Nice move by Tolu Ushua. With that hit under the neck. What a goal by Tolu Ushua. Third goal for him today. Nice move across the Engel and Volkers defenders. They couldn't stop him. And now Allianz Kondler is seven and a half to three ahead in the score. Nice move. Take a look. By Tolu Ushua to score. They already know each other with Loki Lizalde a lot. They played the camera last year together alongside Jack Richardson and Tommy Berth, for whom, as a matter of fact, are playing for Tai Polo in England this year, already qualified for the semi-finals of the Queen's Cup. And now Damra looking for Cesar Grassman coming from behind. Nice tap by Cesar Grassman covering the field. Loki Elizalde, solid performance by, by Loki Elizalde today playing to the boards. Challenge there by Kaspar Grassman. Finally, it will be Cesar Grassman who takes over that ball and the whistle by the umpires. And the time is off, of course. One minute and 34 seconds yet to be played. Cesar Crossman attacking that ball, taking over it, and then Loki Elizalde stealing from him. And now they're going into a midfield penalty in favor of Allianz Kundler. So on screen, Clarissa McGrath, who already scored maybe one of the best goals of the day. What a run by Clarissa McGrath. And now, Tolu Ushua. Close to the position of the ball. Already. The eight players, all eight players inside the field to play the last minute and a half of the game. Alien Scandler leading six, seven and a half to three. And now Tolu Ushua. Long hit by Tolu Ushua looking for Clarissa. She looks very confident today. So Clarissa goes from there. What a hit by Clarissa Magraf. What a goal by Clarissa. She looked very confident before Taking over that ball, she hit it from a long distance, a little bit open to the left. And her second goal today. And now, Alian Skundler securing the win with that goal, eight and a half to three. What a goal. We were taking a look at the replay by Clarissa, two goals for her today. And a very good performance by the number one. And now Cesar Crossman. Looking for Kaspar, but covering the field is Loki Elizalde. So first there, nice backhand by the number four. L looking and finding Tolu Ushua. And now Damrod coming from behind is Tolu Ushua. Nice approach by Tolu Ushua. And Clarissa is trying to ride off Damrod. No, 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 she's going to take over that ball. Nice approach by Clarissa. One more tap by Clarissa Magraf to score her third goal today. Top scorer of this game, Clarissa Magraf. Three goals by her, three by Tolu Show, and three by Loki Elizalde. And nine and a half, two, three. What a performance. The Allianz Kundler players through today. Nine and a half, two, three. And after this final score, and after the final bell, Allianz Kundler secure a place in the third place match. And the main final of this German Polo Championship will be decided between Car Factory and Riller and Schnauk. So tomorrow we'll be live streaming the finals match day here live on Polo Line TV from 12.30 p.m. So stay tuned to follow the whole day. We'll, we will be starting earlier at 12.30 Two and a half to zero was the first jugger for Allianz 
four and a half to one after the first half, six and a half to one into the last chaka, and nine and a half to three, the final score. What a performance by Alien Skundler. So, Car Factory and Riller and Schnauck will be deciding the main title tomorrow here. So, follow us because we are going to be live streaming the whole finals match day from 12.30 p.m., the fifth place match, the third place match, and the main final here. And let's take a look at one of the, maybe the best goals today. Clarissa Margraf stealing the ball behind the midfield line, running all across the field, getting into the danger zone, never losing control of the ball to score her first goal today. Later, she would score two more to end it up with three goals and being the top scorer. What a win by Allianz, nine and a half, two, three. On behalf of the Polo Line TV crew, my name is Andres Ugarte. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you also, Moritz Gadecki and Tuki Caivano, who were accompanying me today. See you soon. And stay tuned because tomorrow we'll be back from 12.30 p.m. Good afternoon.